Hi, this is Billy Bean here with a World News Flash update. Um, I'll bring you up to date on what's happening in World War III. We currently have the U.S., U.K., France, Israel versus Iran and Russia in an attack on Israel. So let's get started. Today is April 13, 2024, time in Texas, about 8 p.m. And so we had this begin this afternoon with Iran uh, taking a Israeli-owned cargo ship in the Strait of Hormuz. As far as we know, they still have it. Then beginning about uh, 5 p.m. Uh, Texas time, we had Iran firing on Israel in three different ways, first drones, uh, then cruise missiles, uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Now, Israel has fired on Tehran, uh, Tehran, and so now, uh, a few minutes ago, Iran began firing hypersonic missiles at Israel. Also, Hezbollah in Lebanon is firing on Israel. And are the Houthis in Yemen firing on Israel? So, let me give you some details uh, today uh, for... 13, 2024, about 2 to 2.30, Texas time, 5 p.m. Cruise missiles came in, uh, were launched, which are very slow and take about an hour to get to Israel. Kamikaze missed drones. And then a second wave, cruise missiles, third to come would be intercontinental ballistic missiles. Now we're in our fourth wave which are hypersonic. Yeah. And Jordan closed their airspace about 4.30 Texas time, as did Egypt, adjacent to Israel. And Israel said to Iran, you know, we're going to defend ourselves. Now, this is being put forth as a deep state plan. Israel versus Iran, while well, that's going on, uh, Russia will take Ukraine, and China will take Taiwan and the Philippines. So we need to keep our eye on China. New York Prepper brought this out about 5 p.m. Texas time. The U.S. military is at DEFCON 2. Now, here we have the U.S., Right here, we have Mexico, Central America, and then South America. Iran has missiles in Venezuela. That we, it, uh, Iran put this information out a couple of weeks ago that it was going to point those missiles at the U.S. If the U.S. got involved in defending Israel, then Iran would fire those missiles from Venezuela. The U.S. is involved tonight in defending Israel. Oh, and J.B., the actor wearing a mask, about 5 p.m. said he's going to bed. Uh, no, <coughs> no press release from the White House tonight. What do you expect? So, uh, New York Prepper put out the U.S. mill at 5 p.m. Texas time was at DEFCON 2. DEFCON 2 is just before DEFCON 1. One, you are in a hot shooting kinetic war. And that there had been a cyber attack on Tel Aviv at 5 this afternoon. And uh, so that's going on. Now, Canadian Prepper put out that uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, that was today about 4 p.m., was in a uh, nuke bunker. 
Israel has closed their airspace. There's been a cyber attack on the power plant at Tel Aviv. And Israel was under a form of martial law about 4 to 5 p.m. Texas time today. Schools are permanently closed, universities, colleges. Uh, protesters cannot gather in groups larger than 1,000, so we see a form of martial law. The embassies in Israel have been evacuated. Israel is jamming the GPS in is Israel. They want to <coughs> contain information, excuse me. And uh, there's a uh, a planned war cabinet meeting tonight in a nuke bunker under the Minister of Defense building. I understand the meeting has come and gone and that Benjamin Netanyahu and his top cabinet members got into a doomsday plane and are outside of Israel. That happened about 6 p.m. So about 6.30 p.m. Texas time. Iran says its attack is complete unless Israel responded. Israel and the U.S. and the U.K. and the French have responded. So then, a few minutes ago, Iran put into the air hypersonic missiles. Now, Iran has already hit uh, an Israeli military base in the Negev Desert and also in the Golan Heights, the West Bank. And they also have hit Israeli forces who were in, located in Gaza and the Israeli forces that were located in the West Bank. They've also hit Jerusalem. And Iran fired from uh, Isfahan, Kermashachan, and Tehran tonight on Israel. So then about 6.30 Texas time, we currently have in the air Russian planes. So in Iraq, we have Russia up. They have planes patrolling here to shoot down any uh, U.S. or U.K. or French attack on Iran. And we have this. So we have, uh, yeah, Russia's up over Iraq. We have the first wave of drones that will hit uh, Israel uh, and Texas. That was about 5 p.m. Uh, this afternoon. Jordan has opened their air to Israel. So we have Israel up in Jordan. And we have the doomsday plane has left with Benjamin Netanyahu and his cabinet. So we most of this information is coming via uh, Hal Turner, uh, War News 24-7, uh, Best and Taylor, Canadian Prepper, and New York Prepper. Okay, Iran has said any country that opens their air to Israel becomes a target for Iran. Israel is now attacking Tehran. Tel Aviv airport is closed. The British, so we have the UK coming out of Cyprus. So they're involved. They have their planes up to intercept Iranian missiles. We have closed air space in Syria in Egypt, in Israel, in Jordan, and in Lebanon. But Jordan has since opened their airspace to Israel. We have both U.S. and U.K. planes. So we have U.K. up here. We have U.S. up here in Syria to assist Israel. We have Iraq firing cruise missiles toward Israel. So we have attacks going on 
on Israel. We have attacks coming from Lebanon, from Syria, from the Houthis, from Iran, and from Iraq. So Israel is being hit on multiple sides. There's been an explosion in Tehran, Tehran and that has prompted uh, them to now launch, a few minutes ago, hypersonic missiles. Intel from Iran, they launched at a U.S. Iran will launch at U.S. bases in Iraq and Syria if the U.S. is helping, and the U.S. is helping. The Hezbollah out of Lebanon are firing upon Israel. The UK Air Force is up in the air to help Israel and also the French Navy is also helping Israel to knock down the drones and missiles. And we have this. So then, from Night Shadows, uh, I, Iran sent a message to the UN about 6.30 Texas or 7 p.m. Texas time that they had concluded their strike unless Israel fired back at Iran, which they did. So now it continues. Also, there are strikes coming in at 7 p.m. from the Houthis in Yemen and JB. No press release today. That came out 5 p.m. Texas time. And now we have Israel has fired on uh, Tehran, Tehran about 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that would have been about 6 p.m. Texas time. So now, up in the air from Iran toward Israel are hypersonic missiles. In Jordan, the U.S. and U.K. are now in the air. So we have the U.S. up, and we have the U.K. up in Jordan to assist Israel. And we have Yemen also firing on now U.S. and U.K. planes and also French planes that came out of, we had also French planes that came out of Cyprus. Israel is now launching missiles. This was about 8 p.m. On, so Israel is now launching missiles into Syria and into Lebanon. We have in Israel this late breaking news Ben Gurion Airport has been hit and Jerusalem has been hit. So this concludes my flash. We need to be in prayer for our U.S. military and all militaries, America and to pray for world peace. I love you, and I'll see you soon.